Russia's military presence in Africa threatens Europe and NATO's southern flank. The increasing military presence of the Russian Federation in Africa allows Moscow to use its limited resources to threaten NATO's southern flank and weaken Western influence, according to a report by the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. In particular, the report mentions the Russian naval base in Libya. According to analysts, the base will help sustain Russian activity in the Mediterranean Sea and potentially host permanent Russian forces capable of threatening NATO's critical infrastructure with long-range cruise missile strikes from the sea. Furthermore, the Russian occupation of the American drone base in northern Niger will create an opportunity for Russia to threaten NATO operations in the Mediterranean Sea using versions of the Shahed-136 strike UAV, which are being produced in series. At the end of July 2023, the security forces of Niger carried out a coup d'etat. President Mohamed Bazoum was taken hostage and the country announced the overthrow of the government. Following this, the head of the presidential guard, Abdurrahman Chiani, declared himself the new leader of Niger. Several African countries were prepared to deploy their military forces to intervene in Niger to halt the coup. At the same time, the Nigerian junta accused France of deploying troops in some Western African countries with the aim of military intervention. It was earlier reported that Russia is interested in acquiring uranium assets in Niger owned by the French company Orano SA. Russia is emerging as the security partner of choice for a growing number of African governments in the region, displacing traditional allies like France and the United States. Russia's top diplomat, Sergei Lavrov, who has made several trips to Africa in recent years, this week stopped in Guinea the Republic of Congo, Burkina Faso and Chad. Moscow has aggressively expanded its military cooperation with African nations by using the private security company Wagner and its likely successor, African Corps, with Russian mercenaries taking up roles from protecting African leaders to helping states fight extremists. The Polish Institute of International Affairs said in a study this month that in creating the African core, Russia took an assertive approach to expand its military presence in Africa. Moscow is also seeking political support, or at least neutrality, from many of Africa's 54 countries over its invasion of Ukraine. African nations make up the largest voting bloc at the United Nations and have been more divided than any other group on General Assembly resolutions criticizing Russia's actions in Ukraine. A shooting in Compton left one man dead and four other people injured, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department said. One man died where the shooting erupted, and one man and three women were taken to a hospital, the sheriff's department said. The extent of their injuries was not immediately known. The shooting occurred at a house party, KTLA Channel 5 reported. After the shooting, officers surrounded the home and searched the property for evidence. It is unclear if any arrests were made in connection with the shooting. The name of the deceased was not disclosed and the extent of the injuries of those who were shot is unclear. Deputies said it happened at the intersection of East Greenleaf Boulevard and South Mayo Avenue. The shooting was not connected to the college, according to the sheriff's department. As reported crime tape surrounded what appeared to be a backyard party, the Compton Fire Department said three of the victims were women and two others were men. One of the men died while on the way to the hospital.